Hey everybody, Rob Retzel here, investor, attorney, and broker. I'm the director of acquisitions and education for the AA Real Estate Group and the leader of the solutions team at AA Premier Properties. Uh, remember, we give free consultations on all things real estate. We're talking retail, investment, whatever. If you have, have an unwanted piece of property or you're trying to sell, sell a property or you have a deal you need help with, give me a call anytime, 774-262-6500. I answer my own phone. Now, today what we're going to talk about is a little bit uh, about marketing. And this is from either, you know, it could be a retail real estate agent, but mainly what I'm, what I'm talking about are um, the realities of marketing from an investor perspective. Uh, and what it takes to actually get a deal specifically in a hot market like we have here in Boston and the surrounding areas. This is really applicable to any type of marketing, direct mail, pay-per-click, door knocking, whatever you're doing. It's all really uh, a numbers game. I mean, yes, you, you should be good and you should be practicing closing and you should, you should definitely, I, I, I'm not going to say that if you're really good at closing, you're not going to have a better rate of, uh, of, of locking up deals, but you know, it's still it's still a numbers game. If you don't have people to talk to, it's really hard to have a business. So you need to keep those deals coming in. You have to market and then follow up, follow up, follow up. You know, I read all the time on Bigger Pockets, and you talk to people at RIA's. You know, they send out 100 letters this month or 300 postcards. They're ready to give up after one to two months because uh, they don't have a deal. And, and so let's let's break this down a little bit and and just keep a few things in mind. What you, have to, what you have to realize is the average response rate is only 2 to 3% for direct mail, for instance. That's responses, not necessarily motivated sellers, just people who are responding to your postcard. That could be, you know, take me off your list. That could be, you know, yeah, I have a house and I want, you know, it's worth 400000 I want 850 or something like that. So not, these are just people who give you a call back. <laughs> so, um, you know... It, of those 20 to 30 responses, then, if you have a 2 to 3% response rate for direct mail, if you send out 1,000 postcards, for instance, of those 20 to 30 responses, if you have a decent close rate, you know, especially if you're just starting, you're only going to have a close rate of 1% to 2%. So if we send 1,000 letters a month, we'd expect 20 to 30 calls, um, which is, again, that 2 to 3%. And with a close rate of only 1% to 2%, we'd expect to close somewhere between you know, less than the deal, 0.2 and 0.6 closed deals from our 1,000 letters here. So what does that mean? Uh, well, you can't really expect to close a deal on 100 mailers a month then, right? If we're sending 1,000, we're, we're, we're not guaranteeing ourselves a deal. How are you possibly going to get a deal with 100 mailers per month? Take 10 months to then reach that 1,000 letters mailed, which still won't mathematically lead to a deal. Now, does that mean that direct mail doesn't work? No, of course not. It, it's it's still our best lead source, and it is for many investors out there. But it takes consistency for at least twelve months, at least a year, before you even begin to realize, you know, what you know and what you don't know about marketing and how you can tweak it. So persistence really is the key. Follow up. Uh, it's no no response or no secret that response goes up exponentially with each touch or each mailing that you do to the same person. But sometimes it takes six to twelve touches to actually turn a lead uh, into a prospect. And and if you don't, if you don't realize that, you don't give yourself um, enough time, you're just going to give up way too early. So my point is, don't give up. You need to be persistent. Do a ton of marketing and fail forward fast. Remember, as uh, as my good buddy Nick says, always, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it, and there'd be more real estate investors than than there already are. Uh, remember, we cover all this and more in the complete deal flow system, uh, the step-by-step -step guide to not only close deals but build your business from the ground up. We have this this product, and we've, you know, we've used it on on a number on a number of, of students, and they they've all done very well with it. You know, if you're interested in seeing all our strategies, propelling your your real estate business forward, along with options for full coaching support, give me a call today. Again, the number is seven seven four two six two six five zero zero. I can't stress this enough. The complete deal flow system is the foundation of our business. It's what we do for our own marketing, and we will uh, will sell it to you. And 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 you know, it, it's definitely something that will allow you to build a very successful um, real estate investing business in any market. So as I as I was saying, this is Rob Retzel from the AA Real Estate Group. Give me a call if you have any questions: seven seven four two six two six five zero zero, or you want to discuss anything real estate related. I answer my own phone. And as always, uh, keep calm and mark it on and get those deals flowing. 
Have a great day.